ADS dynamic link allows you to run the ADS simulation with a cadence virtuoso schematic cell view. In this video, I'm demonstrating this getting started with RFIC dynamic link tutorial in the ADS manual. So here, I have set up cadence pass for virtuoso and I have set up ADS and I have copied this uh, dynamic link examples tutorial directory over and get inside the examples copy and I set up cadence CSF environment and I started virtuoso I opened cadence schematic in launch ADS dynamic link menu item uh, it starts ADS now I'm opening an example ADS workspace examples underlined WRK and I will use this power and test schematic cell this is a test bench created for this uh, cadence example schematic cell view so the first step is to use this dynamic link instance add instance of cell view menu item So I'm moving windows away because it will pop up a small cadence form that may be behind some of the windows. So this uh, select design form, the uh, library cell and view is the cell view I want to use for this uh, tutorial. So I just click OK and it will duplicate the hidden symbol and then pop up a ghost image here. Uh, just place in the middle and make connections for all five uh, nodes there. And select the uh, end command icon or I can press escape key to remove that ghost image. Next step to select dynamic link variable uh, d design variable get design variable. It pulls design variables for this dynamic link session over to ADS side. Notice that this is not in cadence ADE, may or may not. Third step is use dynamic link, add nanist file include. This will find spectrum model files set up on the cadence side and then add it for this ADS schematic design. Now uh, I'm going to run the simulation. Uh, for ADS simulation, I need to enable uh, some simulation controllers. I'm going to run DC and S parameter and then end command. For demonstration purpose, I will save DC operating point result. By default, this out, under output uh, device operating point is not saved. To speed up the simulation, also to save uh, memory. But in order to annotate back to cadence, I need to save either uh, brief or data. After ADS 2015, there's one more step, step. in simulation setting. DC annotation, I also need to select either brief or detailed and then select apply. 
and then close this dialog. Now uh, I can just click this gear icon to start ADS simulation or I can press F7 if the hotkey is set. Simulation started, uh, it'll pop up ADS simulation status window and then when simulation ends uh, ADS data display window will open. There's some message on the cadence uh, CIW side because dynamic link sends a message over to cadence to use a scale code to generate a netlist for the cadence schematic design. And uh, I will plot a rectangular plot and select S21. Use DB no magnitude, and that's all. That's how you run an ADS simulation with Cadence schematic design and display results. And uh, for DC operating point annotation, you can select this uh, dynamic link, annotate and annotate a uh, DC operating point to cadence. Uh, I need to select this dynamic link instance. So it is converting uh, ADS data set to a cadence PSF file. And the DC operating point result is displayed in orange color to the right of the device or in the resistor's case at the top and you can annotate DC voltage by selecting annotate annotate the DC voltage to selected cell view uh, DC voltage is displayed in white characters once you annotate it to cadence side use you can use dynamic menus on the cadence schematic to clear the result by selecting the design default and you can re-display them Select dynamic link, annotate DC voltage, and then uh, annotate the DC operating point. Note that uh, these two only works uh, after a successful ADS simulation. And you have annotated once using these uh, dynamic link menus on the ADS side. You can clear cadence display from ADS side. That's it. Uh, that's how to use a dynamic link. Uh, first use launch ADS from launch ADS dynamic link menu item in KDS schematic window and then from ADS side you use dynamic link instance add instance of cell view to bring the cadence uh, instance over to ADS side and then you use dynamic link design variable get design variables to bring design variables over and then uh, you add um, spectrum model files. So that's the getting started with IFIC dynamic link in ADS menu. Please take a look. Thank you very much for watching.